G'day, I'm Jesse Crow, the Travelling Scientist, and today we're going to be looking at the science of cancer, answering three key questions. What's really going on inside our bodies? Why does cancer affect so many people? And how can we minimise our risk of getting this disease? According to the American Cancer Society, you have roughly a 40% chance of getting cancer at some point in your life. And cancer kills millions of people every single year. But what is cancer? How does it occur in our body? Well, cancer is an uncontrolled growth of cells, and cells are the building blocks that make up our bodies. They're constantly growing, dying, and regenerating, and this process is strictly controlled by our DNA. But when our DNA gets altered slightly, it can cause our cells to go a little bit crazy. When our cells regenerate, you know, to keep us alive, they make a copy of themselves, and this includes a copy of our DNA. Now, our DNA is a unique combination of nucleic acids, about 3 billion, 200 million of them put together. So when our cells are making a copy of all those nucleic acids, sometimes they make a mistake. Idiots, right? These mistakes are called mutations, and they happen about one in every one million nucleic acid copies. Most of them have no effect, but sometimes if you're really unlucky, the mutation can lead to what's called a hallmark of cancer. Hallmarks of cancer are specific traits that cells can gain through mutation. For example, cells are programmed by our genes to grow and divide over time. But if that gene is mutated in a certain way, it can cause the cell to grow and divide uncontrollably. This is a hallmark of cancer. But don't worry, when this happens to a cell, it'll recognize that something is wrong and it'll commit cell suicide, also known as apoptosis unless the gene that controls apoptosis has also been mutated and the cell refuses to die. This is another hallmark of cancer. But don't worry, cells can't actually grow and divide that much unless they have a source of blood for nutrition. Unless the gene that controls blood vessel growth mutates and becomes highly active, then the cancer cells will have a blood vessel supplying them with nutrition. This is a hallmark of cancer. Okay, so the cancer cells are growing and dividing rapidly they're refusing to die, and they've given themselves a source of nutrition. But don't worry, cancer cells can't do that much damage while they're stuck in one place in your body, unless the gene that's holding them in place mutates, and they're allowed to detach and move into the bloodstream and spread throughout the body. This is called metastasis, and it's a very serious hallmark of cancer. Now, all of these mutations, these hallmarks of cancer, they're very unlikely and very rare. It's like winning the death lottery four times in a row. But there's so many cells in your body, they're always growing and regenerating. It's like they're buying lottery tickets all the time. So eventually, one of them is likely to win. Come on, baby, come on, come on, yeah. Or lose the death lottery. You know what I mean. And because our cells have to grow and divide to keep us alive, they're replicating all the time and they're mutating all the time. And sometimes cancer cells form. It just happens. It's a result of the faulty machinery that keeps us alive. And the older you get, the more mutations you accumulate, the more likely you are to develop cancer. And as medicine improves and the population grows older, cancer becomes more common throughout the world. On the bright side, as medicine improves, so too does the treatment for cancer. It's not a death sentence. More people beat cancer than die from cancer. So don't stress, be like a proton and stay positive. Now I'm gonna talk all about different treatments for cancer in the next video, but now I just wanna to touch on ways you can work to minimize your risk of suffering from cancer. Carcinogens are substances that promote the formation of cancer. They do this by going into your cells and interfering with your DNA to increase the rate of mutations, thereby increasing your risk of developing a cancer. So avoid these carcinogens to reduce your risk of getting cancer. Makes sense, right? Carcinogens include radiation, plutonium, asbestos, lead, x-rays, exhaust fumes, pollution, sawdust, coal, the sun, hepatitis, Epstein-Barr virus, human immunodeficiency virus, anybody who has these viruses, cigarettes, anybody who smokes, 
alcohol, anybody who drinks, estrogen, paint, very hot beverages, Chinese style salted fish, burned meat, burned toast, burned anything. And of course, bacon. Avoid these things at all costs. Or, you know, try to. Anyway, that's all for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button down below. And if you have any questions or stories about cancer, let us know in the comment section down below. Finally, next week's video is gonna be all about different treatments for cancer and the future of medicine for this disease. So make sure you subscribe for more Traveling Science every single week. I'll see you guys next Science Sunday. Cheers.